One of the most recognizable pieces of Metroid gear seen on the majority of box covers and artwork is the Varia suit that Samus wears. But have you ever wondered, what does Varia even mean? It turns out that the word Varia is actually a simple mistranslation of the word barrier. You can see evidence of this in the North American instruction manual for Metroid 2 Return of Samus and the Japanese website for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, both of which use the term barrier suit. If you look even further back at the North American manual for the original Metroid, an illustration seems to indicate that the very nature of the barrier item was possibly conceived as a type of force field, rather than an armored suit. Unfortunately, Nintendo declined to comment on the issue, but anyone with a basic knowledge of Japanese can easily understand how this mistake could be made. In Japanese, there's no equivalent to a word ending in R, so the similar sounding A ah is used, turning barrier into baria, as seen in the Japanese manual. However, when localizing the original Metroid for North America, it's clear that the translator fell back on another common practice between the two languages. Since there's no V sound in Japanese, it's replaced with characters that have a B sound, like Ba or Be. The translator probably didn't recognize Baria as Barrier, but rather looked at the odd shape of the item and assumed it was another made-up term, like Metroid or Disgiga. Later translators apparently recognized the error, but somehow the name Varia stuck, and Samus's iconic armor took on a lasting identity. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store.